we have here is a Firefox OS phone. Firefox OS is an operating system that we built to allow people who cannot afford smartphones to get smartphone functionality. So we're not going to kill Android or iOS with that. We want to actually replace really old uh, feature phones that only allow people to play snakes to actually do something more useful and get them on the internet. That's why Mozilla is in that whole game. We're there to keep the internet open. We started with Internet Explorer in 1999 and made Firefox as an open as an open alternative and now we make an open alternative to closed systems on mobile devices as well. It's like any other phone. Amazingly enough, I can tell if I, I can call numbers and call my friends. I actually can message my friends or directly call, uh, contact them on Facebook because I can integrate all my Facebook friends directly into the phone so I don't have to type it in, which is not fun on a small screen. So other than that, it's, it's like anything you would expect from a smartphone. I've got a marketplace where I can actually install apps and buy apps and offer apps. I've got my camera, I can take pictures, I've got calculators, all the things I want. I've got Nokia's Here Maps as well, which allows you to actually find your place on this, on this planet. It asks me where I am. I sell it, I am actually right now in Barcelona. It finds me and it does all the performance stuff you would expect from a phone. Although this is a very underspecked phone for something like Android. The newest Android would not be available for this. <coughs> so, I've got my Twitter, I've got my Facebook, I've got my Airbnb, all the things that people want. We partner with all of those people. It's HTML5, so nothing in there is actually not web but it at the same time has the same functionality as a, as a, a smartphone like timeout for example here i downloaded earlier so actually when i go offline i would still have that content on my phone i can carry it with me i don't need to know where i am at the moment all the time and need to pay a lot of money with my roaming that i have from england at the moment the real killer feature is above all they, that I can get the apps and I can pay them with my telephone bill. So instead of having to have a credit card, which a lot of people don't have or don't want to have, I can actually just have a SIM card in there with like 50 pound on it and then buy 50 apps. So if my kids want to have a phone, they want to play some games and I don't want to have my credit card to give me a shock, that's a good plan. And as all of these apps and everything in there is HTML5, it is indexable much like it is like the web. So what we have here is a search functionality that is more or less like a web search, but for apps. So if I look for restaurants, which I did earlier, which is a lot to type in, that's why I just click on it at the moment. I will actually find applications that have to do with restaurants. So I find Yelp, OpenTable, Urban Spoon, Food Spotting, Foursquare, and so on and so forth. When I actually want to click on them, I try these apps out. I try them out once, maybe I find a restaurant that I have, uh, have around me and I don't want to install the app and I don't have to. This is a proper try before you, uh, try before you buy way of actually finding apps on the web. If I, if I enter a band, for example, I enter, I enter now U2 because it's nice and short, not necessarily because of my favorite band. I actually enter it here and I get the background showing that I look for YouTube, so you see the band there and you see YouTube for videos, GrooveShark, uh, SoundCloud for music and Wikipedia for information, lyrics, apps, all the things that I want to know about the music. Again there, I click on it, I can listen on a, on a YouTube song on SoundCloud or uh, when I like it, I can install SoundCloud and get a lot of stuff offline so I don't have to be online all the time. But for surfing apps and trying out apps, this is something completely new. So we took the idea of a web search to an app search as well. And we made the social connection as well. Instead of having to know that Urban Table is the name of the app, I actually just entered restaurants and found out that Urban Table is an app that has to do with, uh, with restaurants. And that's Firefox OS. It's gonna be rolled out in, uh, with our 19 partners in several countries, I think seven or eight countries. And the good thing is with that, for us as developers, we can reach a market that we could never reach before because they only had feature phones. And Firefox OS, that's where it is, it frees your phone and all the data on there is yours. Nobody else has it. You can install the applications on the phone and if you had several phones or if you had several tablets later on as well with Firefox OS on it, you never have to actually buy the app again. You buy it once and you can use it wherever you want rather than three or four times and then it tells you please buy it again. And that's what Firefox OS stands for and I'm very excited that we have it out there.